Welcome to Boundary 6 Speed. So objective, understand the relationship between distance covered, speed, and the time taken. So speed is the distance traveled per unit time. So the faster the speed means the greater the distance traveled per unit time. So here is a formula. Draw a triangle, split into three parts, D, S, T. D stands for distance, S stands for speed, T stands for time. And here you can put a plus, a time. So speed equal to distance over time, means divided by time. Distance equals speed times time. And to find time is distance divided by speed. So this is the formula. When the question asks, how fast they're asking for speed, how far they're asking for distance, and how long they're asking for the time taken. Let's look at example three. William ran 900 meters in five minutes. What is his meter? What is his speed in meter per minute? So this means that meter per one minute. So there are two methods. Method one, so five minutes is 900 meter. You find one minute, so you divide by 580 meter. So William speed is 100 meter per minute. Or method two is use formula. So five speed is distance divided by time. So 900 divided by five is 180 meter per minute. Example four, just drive at a speed of 65 km per hour. How far does it travel in two hours? So when they say how far, they are talking about distance. So you can use the formula straight away. So distance is speed times time. So 65 km per hour times 2 hours, 130 km. Make sure that the unit that you use okay, is the same. So this is per hour, so it's times hour. Example 5. Many ran around with a speed of 6 meters per second. How long did it take to run 456 meters? So how long is talking about the time? To find time, use distance divided by speed. So 456 meter divided by 6 meter per second equal to 76 second. Many took 76 seconds to rent 456 meter. Mastery level 2. Understand the concept of average speed. So 3A and 3B are 9 meter apart. 3B and 3C are 21 meter apart. So can you see I draw a speed time diagram putting 3A, 3B, 3C, 9 meter distance, distance than 1 meter. Then song ran from 3A to 3B in 2 seconds. So the time I put 2 seconds. Then B to C in 3 seconds. So I put time 3 seconds. Find song average speed for the distance from A to C. So the formula for average speed is this. Total distance divided by total time. So total distance 9 plus 21, 30 meter. Total time. 2 plus 3, 5 seconds. So I take 30 divided by 5, 6 meter per second is the average speed. Mastery level 3. Draw speed time diagram and solve speed problem with one object traveling. John cycled along the park connector from Topayo Tau Park at 0745 and ended at Pongo Park at 0915. He cycled at an average speed of 14 km per hour. How long did he travel? So average speed. 14 km per hour. So first, I need to know the time. From 0745 to 0915, actually the time taken is how far? 1 hour 30 minutes. That's 1 and a half hour. So to find distance, speed time time, 14 km per hour, time 1.5 hour. That is 21 km. So you cycle 21 km. Make sure that the unit of the time and the speed must follow. Example two, Amy drove from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur. She took two hours to complete one quarter of the journey. So can you see my speed time diagram? The whole distance, I cut into four parts. I, I make sure that the one hour four is two hours. Then remaining 252 km is three hours. What is the average speed for the whole journey? So first, 3 unit is 252, 1 unit is 84. So this part is your 84. Then I find the total distance. 
num 436k. Sum taken two plus three power. So average speed is total distance divided by total time 366 km divided by five hour. That's how we get 67.2 km. Continue to practice more questions on our e-learning website. That is triple Singapore Thank you.